All right, meme lords, we are live. Hell yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? How the hell are you doing? What's up everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to Dying Light number one. This is going to be probably one of the last few streams that I actually do on the game, because for the most part there pretty much is nothing left to do. No nothing left in the sense that like the main story or like the main, uh, like main captivating stuff of the game is left, because really there's only so many main quests left. And only so many side quests left. Now, who's to say that this is the end? We obviously might be like impulsive as usual and be like, oh, I suddenly want to do this. And that I'm never trying to keep you guys on the hook for anything. It's just that I uh I can never predict when an opportunity arises. Like, for example, we could still do all these volatile nests, there's the safe houses. But in terms of main quests, we are starting to get to the end. Like, I mean, you can even see it like uh right here, actually. Story's at 90%. So if that goes the way that I think it's gonna go, then the story is basically coming to an end. Unless you, we want to like do some of the other stuff, such as explore the map, uh, look for any secrets, do the vol nest, which I definitely think that we are going to do. I was just giving you guys an idea of like what's coming. So probably what we'll do is that other than the main quests and the side quests, we will end up completing these vol nests, uh, the safe houses, look for any secrets. And just explore the map and rank up Crane in general, but that shouldn't be too difficult and should only take place over a couple of streams. Okay, this has actually got a skill. I was wondering about that. Yeah, because the uh, stuff here is almost done. Lower prices on the shop or boosters last longer? I'd rather have lower things in the... Actually, let me see what the other thing is, though. That might be better in the long run. I'll get these three later. Uh, but they're still definitely powering up. And then this is actually the very last thing other than the very last skill. The last that's left now is this. So ultimate uh, combatant. You become the best fighter in the, uh, in the quarantine. And you can fight without getting tired. Oh. I don't remember looking at that. I'll never get tired. Oh, that's fucking incredible. I won't have to worry about losing my stamina. That's great. That's actually really fucking great. Allows you to craft Doom Buggy 2 parts. Yes, please. I would definitely love to do that. We're straight down the middle for that. And that's the case. Then what I can do is I can just upgrade the Doom Buggy. Uh, what about agility? Agility needs three left. Power literally needs one. That'll just happen by killing. Survivor, we need four. That's the most. And then Legend doesn't have a cap, so we'll go on infinitely. So once we just unlock it, we don't have to worry about completing Legend completely. But uh, Driving, we are just getting started so far. Well, if I upgrade my Doom Buggy, I can do that racing challenge, because that is one of the side quests, if you remember that. So... We want to just do that. Is there a way I can buy blueprints from this guy, or plus also I can get a discount on all my uh, my ammo here? But I basically wasted it all on that one uh, boss zombie, the ho holler or holer, or whatever the hell his name is. Uh, exploding arrows. Yeah, I want to buy all the different arrows, screws. Buy all the screws. Buy the med kits. 
Steel bolt? Mm, I really I don't need the bow because I already have the Bozak bow. Uh I'll buy gauze. And I'll buy alcohol. Is there anything I can sell to him? Like valuable? Sell uh all valuables. Which valuables are these. So yeah, sell all the valuables specifically. And therefore I'll get some more money. Right, 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 right. Okay, and then we go back over the Doom Buggy uh thingy. We'll call that over, have it be recalled, and then if I can craft level two, I'll just I, I wanna see if I can just do it directly from the Doom Buggy. So Doom Buggy. Or is this oh it might be in my blueprints specifically blueprints. Yeah, so just have the ability to craft them is what I'm looking for. Yeah, here we go. You can see all the level two parts. So it's not about finding blueprints. This is about like earning the ability to craft said blueprints. So I can craft level two of everything, which I really need. Uh, I'm going to repair this, actually. You cannot repair this part anymore. Yeah, so I'm going to need how many repairs to have left. These each have one. I'll just make a little bit of everything, but I mostly just want to have the uh, the brakes, the traction, and the engine. So we'll do that for sure. Make this car even better. So brakes. Engine. Where is it? I don't see it anymore. I think it disappeared. Oh, there it is. Engine. I need more screws. Hmm. Do I have screws? I know I can get screws. Did I just buy screws? Yeah, I just bought screws. Hmm. But if that's the case, that means I am going to have to just get screws somewhere else somehow. So let me select the brakes. Install, yes. I don't have screws. Can I, um, can I break the old stuff to get screws? I don't think I can. Hmm. Is there any way I can get screws from something else? Hmm. No, yeah, I can. I just, I, I just have to dismantle them this way. I can't dismantle them for some reason in the, uh, the main area of the car. I have to go through here. At least I figured it out. And so just dismantle all the level one stuff because I'm crafting level two from now on anyway. I, I, the level one does not serve a purpose to me anymore. I also have to take care of it and make sure that I never need to go back to level 1 because I can't afford level 2 when I, when I break my level 2s. Dismantle. Uh, I got fuel. Dismantle the brakes. Dismantle the brakes. So now if I go back to this. Select. Craft and install. Are you sure? Yes, yeah, so we got, got a level 2 engine now. And I can't repair that one anymore, so I gotta select another one. So craft and install, so yes. But now the Doom Buggy is completely maxed out to level 2, which is great. And the tank is full, so it's got gas. Now, can I change the, uh, the doohickey in the front? Oh, he upgrade. We got bolts charming when they got to hear bobblehead. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. 
Did I select the bobblehead? I think I did. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, our car is completely, uh, completely maxed out now. It's got gas, and it's got all the level 2 shit that it needs. So really, all that's left is just, just drive it over to the, the, uh, the Doom Buggy racing area, and then we got that other one side quest. Now, to be, make sure that I take advantage of this, I am going to try to not damage this vehicle. Which means that anytime I see an obstacle, I'm going to try to ideally go around it. Either that or at least be just very gentle. Now, I don't know if the, the things are glowing red because I'm flooring the gas, or if I genuinely could not seem to get this thing to not be broken. I'm also just trying to avoid the uh, explodey guys because I really do not want them to blow this up and then just get virals on me. Here we go. Hmm. Okay, I think we're doing good so far. Excuse me. Make it, make it a pit, quick pit stop for gas. Because this way I'll have it. It's empty. What? Why is this a bigger zombie than normal, by the way? I thought that I, um... We'd get gas on a regular basis. I thought they would recharge, because it's been a whole new play session. There's just no gas. Is it on a timer? I thought that literally every time I would reset the game or another day would pass, it would just give me, uh... more gas, but I guess not. Weird. Yeah, all this is empty. weird. that viral gonna die? No, it literally just tanks everything I'm doing to it. Stop your head off. Well, this guy's here. Although, I was going to say, for some reason, it wouldn't let me do anything to him. Oh yeah, this is the proficiency thing you can put on your melee weapons. The, uh... The, th this, this is the, uh, things you can buy that, like, you put on it, like, not as a upgrade per se, but, like, literally as a, like, a proficiency. <laughs> Forgot about that, that you could do that. I can actually go to my weapons here and make them even stronger, yeah. Completely forgot about these features. Yeah, now I now I improved my axe to like literally max. Completely forgot about that. Hmm. Oh, did I not do it to the one in my, uh... Oh, I switched them. Oops. Well, if I use both axes? Wait. This is the hatchet, and then this is the axe. But let me just switch hatchet for hatchet. Wait, no, I, did I just do it to an axe?
Yeah, I did. Fuck. I can't take this off, can I? Shit. Alright, well, at least I put it on something. Fuck. <laughs> ah! Misunderstood the prompt. Mm. Die. Mm. I'm not gonna buy one because I made a mistake. I'm gonna wait until I get a better one before I do that again. Damn it, man. Well, at least the, the axe that I have is like really fucking strong now. It's not the hatchet per se, but... It's at least gonna be a really strong two-handed weapon. The, uh, the fire axe. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Ooh. Whoops. I meant reset position as in reset it when it was ready on the ground, not from the very top. At least I can fix it. Wait, hopefully I didn't damage this thing too much. So it's right here? Yeah, it is. Alright, Accepts his challenge. I'm trying to heal, though. Alright, fine. I'll take his challenge. Pass through all the checkpoints. Okay. Alright, I got this chat. I've upgraded my vehicle decent enough. There's 23 of them, so... Wouldn't surprise me if there's also an enemy at the very end of these things each. I have to avoid. Like, boomers or something. I got full gas in here, so really it's just a matter of how accurate I can be driving this damn thing. So avoid the zombies wherever I can. Can't avoid them all the time to maintain speed, but... I'm really hard locked on this thing. So that so I do have a time limit though. Yeah, I'm so glad I upgraded my, my Doom Buggy. There's absolutely no way in hell if I didn't upgrade it, this would be possible. Oh fuck. Go up, go up, go up, go up. <laughs> Trying to maintain top speed without stopping. There's only two left. Uh, go left. That it? That's it. Ha! Ha! Yo, let's go! First try! Hey, yeah, beat your time, buddy. That was sweet. That was like a little, just a little under two and a half minutes. Fuck yeah. Uh, back here, yes. And? 
How was it? I could get used to that. Any other tracks I could try out? Hell yeah, man. Just look at those posters. They're at the starting points of different races we had here. I won all of them. So when you find one, give me a shout. And I'll work the stopwatch. We'll make a champion out of you in no time. And for beating me, I'll give you a ride a new paint shop. You gotta admit, she could use one. Okay. Wait. Didn't I, didn't I just get a paint job? Okay, so you can find the racing poster scattered throughout the countryside. Each poster is a separate challenge, which gives you driving experience and other rewards upon completion. There are up to up to four players can participate. And then I got an actual paint job for just doing that one in general. Oh, and here's another one. Do I just accept them all here? Oh, oh wait, this is the exact same one. Oops. Uh Well fuck it, I guess we're doing it twice. So yeah, the other one was my time limit. That was my time limit. If anything, this would just be good practice, I guess. I just have to make sure not to hit it a second time. But no, yeah, good shit, good shit. I, I literally never took my hand off of W. Yeah, these brakes and these, uh, like, uh, engines that I got now are so much better handling-wise. Like, I love the, the upgrades of this Doom Buggy yeah, I made. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Exploding guys up here. one shit yeah that's gonna cost me yeah So the only way to beat that then is to upgrade my vehicle any further. I was missing people again. Yada yada yada. Not really caring to read these as much anymore, but uh, let me let me see this one though. Believers, uh, our kind mother heard your prayers and she grants you the gift that will finally let you spend more time away from your homesteads. A blessed gift passed down from her family from generation to generation. Like an STD. Uh, a very special oil uh, poisonous to the undead stronger than the unholy venom running through their veins. So the thing that what we're using to get rid of them is oil. That's easily explainable way. So even though they know it's oil. If uh, any one of you requires a batch, uh, we have left a fair portion of our kind friend with our kind friend Bial. Uh, Bial. You uh, have only to ask and he will share with you. Except. I saw a note about that was a quest kind of actually. Soil. What's the deal with it? Yeah, man. Shit works like a charm. So. You make me a batch? Well, uh, yeah, but I'm out so of there is still side quests to discover. So have to go get me some. And it probably only grows in a clearing somewhere on the other side of the world. With a couple of demolishers and some toads camped out around it. Ah, you know what? Fuck it. You're cool. And I have shit to do. So, <laughs> I'll just give you the recipe. Sound good? 
<laughs> you're cool, and I have shit to do. Wait, you're just gonna give it to me? You picked up the- you learned how to craft Countryside Bane. That was easy. That was actually, uh, very fucking easy. <laughs> Another one here. Believers under no circumstances are you allowed to enter the nearby town. Our worst fears are confirmed. The former military quarantine there has become the most dangerous place in the countryside. You are not to risk your lives by facing the dangers yourselves. Hey Bilal, this note about the town. What's this danger the faceless are warning people about? No idea, man. We don't go into the town anymore. People who went into scavenge say there's demons in there. I know we've got zombies to deal with, but demons? What the hell? Seriously, no clue. I haven't been there in a while. Don't know what it's about or what they're trying to result in. But it would help you guys out if the town got safer, right? Uh, well, yeah. We didn't have a chance to get anything out of there after the outbreak. But just so you know, the military mm. ran everybody out of there before any infected even showed up. And you think it might have been related to this demons thing? <sighs> Could be, man. Could be. We won't know until the faceless get it all under control, though. We don't go there anymore. That That is another new quest. Soothe all the poor souls in the town. And then there's harvest. There's no way we, uh, there's no way to turn our farm into a safe house. We've tried fire, we've tried guns, we prayed to the mother, and still... It waits on our land, new victims. The monster is incredible. That monster is incredible. We know uh, you were counting on us. Sorry. No dialogue for this one. Rise. Yeah, so I figured there was going to be other side quest challenges. Okay, so that, yeah, that's why I said that the end of the game might not be here yet, though, guys. It's because, like, we just literally picked up some more side quests. I tried looking it up actually a couple weeks ago um, to see uh, like how many uh, quests there were in the main one left. And I think after this one there's one more, but I didn't think to check side quests, so that's just on me, my bad. So, that's the town. Okay. Oh, the other one wasn't a side quest, just these two. Very hard and very hard. Let's just do we don't go there anymore. This probably will help. Um, I can't get gas out of this anymore. Oh, there's a big guy. Yeah, it's weird. He just doesn't see me if I'm in here, right? I found that kind of funny. Okay. So, we'll call the car back, and then, uh... Where's the call back for the, the car? Here it is. And then we'll just head, I guess, to that town and clear it. Uh, this reminds me of the one time that we tried to go to Crawford in The Walking Dead, where we tried to clear a town, and we realized that was just infested with zombies. through the gas mm. oh shit uh well the town's right here oh never mind anyone want to trade I'm finishing my copy and getting the hell out of here so it was it was literally just right here Surprise was that close. Normally you have to wait. Oh, I thought there was going to be more travel because normally they don't put the checkpoint for the thing you got to do right next to where you pick it up. So what do they mean by soothe? Is there something to do in here? There's markers on the, the screen. It's definitely infected. There's tons and tons of zombies everywhere. Is just kill the zombies? I hear zombie babies. Of 
unfortunately. Problem is it attracts the normal zombies. His rays are even affecting me out here. Hell, the hell's the. Oh, it's down here. I was gonna say, this is honestly one of the most disturbing things in the game is like just the crying baby zombie. It's kind of like the witch, but if it was a baby. Can't seem to find the entrance though, is the problem. So yeah, that's what it means, is that soothe all the poor souls in the town. Is it all the way at the top? Clear the area and turn on the power. Uh-oh. I, I didn't die? So basically I'm having mercy on the kids to put the city to rest. Implying that, what the fuck zombie? Implying that the baby, yeah, still has a soul. <sighs> sorry, sorry little guy. So they're all at the top like this? Oh, there's the generator. So save zone unlocked. Problem is, though, is when I turned on the generator, I lost my grappling hook. Okay. So I know what's going on now. It's down here. Ah, oh, come on, kid, where are you? It's in that building. Their entrance, dude? Come on, bruh. Maybe here? Yeah, it's definitely in that building because I'm blocking my ears and it's hurting me. It's gotta be entrance from the top. Would it not be? Ow. Oh, fuck. I don't know how to get in. I really don't. Unless it's through the wall, I mean. But I think I have to, like, just shush it. I don't think it's just gonna let me shoot the zombie baby. They, they, they seem to be delicately balancing this by just gently putting it to rest. At least the best I can. Yeah, the echo is, like, right here. But, oh, it's a lockpick, is why. It's gonna be like, there's no other way I can get in the damn house. Alright, kid, I'm sorry. Oh, 
on the other side of this door. I hate doing that. Like, I hate the idea of, like, I get them showing the kid mercy, but it's, like, it's just disturbing. It's different when it's kids, man. Especially young kids. Alright, there should be one more. So that's literally what they meant by seeing demons, is the zombie babies. This is kind of a sad way to look at it, because they, they were just kids at one point. Kids are innocent, man. Hmm. Now, technically, in this game, it looks like that this... Oh, shit. That... Crane, that was a massive kick, bruh. Um, but in this game, it seems like that the zombies can almost have, like, a soul to them still. Like, is it the weird talking we've been seeing? So I hope that the babies are not, like, aware they're zombies. Hmm. Here. Oh, it's... I thought I was split up amongst two different areas. I can, I can hear this one. I think it's the green building. Or the truck. Now it's the truck. Yeah. Oh, shit. I, I don't think I managed to put it away. No, I didn't. I got shoved. I can't get out. I can't get out! Crane was forced to cover his ears because of the damn kid, and then the zombie punched me. So I was permanently stuck in there. That's stupid. I literally could not defend myself. Did I lose progress then? No, this one's still taken care of. There used to be one in that green building. Back here? Or the yellow building? No. So it seems like it's all just random spawns. Yeah, so soothe all the poor souls. I can only imagine that that means that, like, show mercy to the, the zombie babies that everyone's afraid of thinking that they're demons. And then people can move on. Including the dead. Just hope that they don't ever feel any of this. That, that'd be the most disturbing thing other than them being just zombie babies. And YouTube, please don't demonetize this video. I mean, like, it's just a game. It's a little messed up, but it's at least a video game. So let me try to kill these zombies. I'll kill the main zombies before I try to go to the zombie baby to, to put to rest. The last time it trapped me. Sorry, kid. Yeah, because he doesn't even do anything. All he does is just shush it. I think he technically has to snap his neck, but I, it looks just more like a shush. Like, everyone shows mercy to it because of the fact that it's kids. So 
So there should only be one more then. Wherever it may be. I think I checked here. Trying to listen for it. Can't hear it. Unless it's uh, turning on a generator instead. Is it about turning on a generator? Not the, uh, finding a kid? Something I'm missing. Wait. The fuck? There's like a kid's cartoon going on there. This seems way out of place. What the fuck? I was supposed to make this like ten times more disturbing. You hear that, right? But it sounds like distorted. It sounds like the thing they want me to find. Yeah, there's like a disturbing kids cartoon going on. What the fuck? Uh, how do I get in? Door? Yeah. Is there a kid in here? What, like, were they watching cartoons when this happened? Oh shit. Nah, yeah, that was a kid. Why'd it have to be watching cartoons? That just makes it even more sad. Turn that off. I think this is, was the dad, too. God damn it. Alright, so speak with, uh, by all. I'll let him know that I took care of it. The town can now lay to rest. situation in town they weren't demons they were screamers the screamers very 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 unlucky infected children oh that's what you call them in Haran we've seen them before uh, people here can't really uh, figure out how they feel about them but you know they're not human anymore right hey it's a pretty big leap from knowing something to accepting it can you imagine somebody like Jazir taking out his knife and killing a kid even if it's a zombie. Yeah, it's not it's not as easy as you may think. I don't even like doing it. I mean, it's still a fucking kid. I mean, like... It's a very valid point. It's not that easy to do. Okay, so... For blueprints, I, uh... I need to make more, uh, med kits. 
can literally only make one med kit. <laughs> I have two med kits. One med kit now. God damn it. I really did use them all from last time I went to uh, med kit heaven. Yeah, so I really need to make a med kit heaven run. Which means, hypothetically, I would need to go back to Haran, but, uh... I, I heard I am allowed to go back to Haran. Like, that's what my friends have told me, is that you don't have to be stuck in, uh, the following if you, uh... Don't want to, you can rotate back between the, uh... The different areas. This is where I gotta go, is I gotta clear this area. I'm gonna sleep at, uh, the gas station, because I want it to be daytime. I don't want to be doing this close to sunset. Uh, where's the sleeping area? Yeah, back here. Alright, next day. Ten hours later. So with it being morning, I can now leave and it would make sense. Now, also, wouldn't everything reset by then? Like, all, all the loot? Is that not how, that how it works? Hypothetically, other than just losing my money, couldn't I just sleep and then just wake up again and everything would keep resetting? I can definitely imagine it being that way for the fuel, so why not the, uh, the buyable items? I see a race up here. Aha! Free message. Okay. Ow. I was gonna say, if I wanna do this too, why not? Okay, so this is a new one. I have to beat my time for all of them? Or is that his time? It looks almost identical to my time from the last race. Even though this is a different race. We'll see. Probably say I didn't repair the car. for it. Oh, I missed it? Shit! Damn it! Okay, so, yeah, he is right. I just don't have time. So that was his time, not mine, even though it was a separate race. Okay, well, then just let me upgrade my, my buggy here for a second. Because I should be able to. What was the other thing he gave me for a paint job? Well, that looks sweet. Racing paint job. Refuel. 
And I don't need to repair it. Alright, well, we'll try it again going into it. Oh, and I get level 4 engine parts. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. Because it will just only make me better for the next one. I kind of memorized the course a little bit now, so... Don't hit as many zombies, that hurts my time very badly. There's also the sharp corners when I go off road, so thank you for blowing up early. Okay. Almost. Hardcore focus. Fuck, that's gonna hurt my time. I had to make a sharper turn. Damn, I had to turn left. I had to turn left. God damn it. Well, I am trying to upgrade my vehicle. I like how it says if you're having a hard time trying to upgrade your vehicle, but yet I upgrade my vehicle by completing the challenge. That, that, that's what they're missing. Fuck this up. So, without stopping, I need to make as much turns as I can without crashing into things. It's like this, rather than going through the fence. Probably just a practice thing. I guarantee you this is how they want me to upgrade. There's probably no other way to get the parts ahead of time unless it's uh, a secret or something. Pretty sure you just have to struggle with a race until you can struggle less in a race. Oh shit, that was a sharp turn. Fuck. I'm still doing better than I did before. And then this is the sharp turns. To the left. I ain't gonna make it, but it at least gives me an idea of what's coming up. So we've had there and there, so I probably would've looped back around. So I can't 
stall, and I also cannot crash. That, that is the end of me every single time, basically. We also can't stop. Do not blow up on me. That explodey guy. This also really should help my driving uh, abilities. So, turn right. Without crashing, please. Thank you. Left. So far, so good. I gotta remember there's a left-hand turn where there's a pipe at some point. It's like right up ahead here. Somewhere near the pipes is a really opposite turn. It's like a left. Yeah, it's like right up here. No, it's a right is what it is. Yeah, I've saved myself a lot of time by expecting that. Now, remember, there's also another sharp turn here. I think up here it's left. Or up here it's left. Yeah, up here it's left. Fuck! I choked! Fuck, man! You gotta get that basically perfect! You literally gotta get that perfect! Alright, we're gonna try, like... A few more times and they'll eventually we'll move on to the other mission because I, I did want to do the other mission but I also want to make sure I did the races because I want to upgrade the the racing as much as I can I don't know if like uh, I specifically have to win regardless of solo or co-op in order to get the paint job but I might want to do this with my friends up and coming like if I can ever get Tim online like uh, he loves to race like, racing games are one of his favorites. Like, that's his thing. So, a racing challenge within Dying Light, the Doom Buggy feature he would love. And left. Explodey guy, don't hit me. Most. I wonder if I could have made a short, sh short, short, shortcut to the left, but doesn't matter now. I gotta make a right though. I know that for damn sure. Fuck! That hit me. Water. Fuck. Shit! 
Ah, oh, god damn it. And the problem is the car just gets weaker the more I do this. So probably it's gonna be at some point I just have to just bite the bull and take a short break. So I can let the car get repaired. Yeah, I could not afford to crash into zombies or anything. That always cost me. Hell, even the swerving at the very end of the match cost me. I still could have done that. And see, normally I'm not a racing guy, uh, but I kind of want to do a little bit of a completionist run here. Like, I don't necessarily know if I was going to do everything in this game, but I sometimes get, like, this urge to, despite me not being a racing guy. Like, I would normally never do this, but for the sake of entertainment, I kind of want to just give this a try. Just so I could just say I did a majority of the things in this game. So there's going to be a right-hand turn up here. Yeah. gonna suck. Oh shit, I'm really low on HP. If I die, that's gonna be the worst thing that could happen. Oh shit, I gotta really make sure I don't choke. That engine part is gonna help out a lot. Oh, he's, I even got the other thingies. Fuck yeah. So heal yourself, Crane. There we go. Okay, lovely. So now my Doom Buggy is uh, stronger. Fuck yeah. So select. Yeah, level four. That's gonna be so useful. Are you sure? Yes. Cannot repair it anymore, or I'm out of screws. There was, not, there was nothing even left. I'm glad the blueprints are just like right in here. So let me, uh, let me see if I can just buy more screws then. Actually, can't you find them in the, the hood of the cars? Yeah, you can. Uh, fuck. I haven't been really searching that many cars. I'm also just buying any, like, weapon upgrades now where I can. Wait, did you just dodge that, motherfuckers? I literally found several screws just straight out the rip. Alright, well that's one. Like, one of many. Fair. I forgot I gotta select a new one. Hold on. Select. Craft and install. Oh, I'm missing one more screw. Fuck! At least screws are easy to find. Like, really easy to find, apparently. That's wire, though. And install, yes. Now I just need a suspension fix. Let me just search these cars up ahead. Police car. That's still tubing. 
That one's flipped over, so I can't use it. Shit. Well, pretty much all the cars in the vicinity are gone, so... Hey, Dan, sub G. I, uh, I'm glad to see you turned in. How, how's it going? Are you in your, uh, you in your class, or are you having your day off? I know it's a Thursday, so there might be a possibility you're in school, is my guess. What's up, though, cuz? Yeah, the harvest. So that is down there. Still a blue. But oh yeah, Dan, it's good to see you, man. How's it going? I hope that you were well. I'm gonna search the hood of any vehicle once I get an opportunity. really need to either stockpile on these things or just get people to give me these uh, items to save for later, kind of like med kits. Oh, there's a drop here. Although it's stolen, so it doesn't matter anyway. Really? There used to be a button on uh, Xbox that prevented them from uh, stopping you mid-drive like that. You could like get them off of you without having to get out of the car. But I don't know if you can do that though now. Ah, ah. Go, go, go. This is gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna have to fight him. Oh shit, got a new, uh, follower? Uh, Hypo. Hi, Hypo. Thank you for the follow, Hypo uh, 10N. I Hypo 10's N, uh, 10N, thank you. Yo, hey man, what's up? Thank you for dropping a follow, my friend. You just helped us get one step closer to uh, 300 followers, man, thank you. My name is uh, John or Black Ninja, how are you, my friend? I'd like to try to get to know you. And uh, since you dropped a follow, I assume you're enjoying the content, I appreciate that. I don't know necessarily if you just dropped by or if you've been watching for a while now, but, uh, welcome, friend. Let me know if you're here because of Dying Light or if you're here for, uh, some spicy memes or, uh, what, what exactly brings you in? Unless you want to tell me I secretly have a child that I don't know about and you're coming here to, uh, uh, have me pay for their college tuition. Here. Yeah, I, I don't care really about the Bolter game. I just want to get out of here. And then, Dan, what'd you say? I, uh, pretty good. The class has been we're taking a test right now. Same test as earlier. Had some free time. Uh, I have no school tomorrow, so all day I'm free. Uh, Dying Light, I have it. Oh, you're here for Dying Light. Nice, man. Yeah, I'm going to be playing the uh, the second game uh, soon. In case you're wondering why I'm also looking over here, that's just a way to, for me to read my chat. I have an overlay that I can uh, open up with a hotkey, uh, but it only shows the recent, like, five messages, and sometimes if they're too long, I can't read them all, so I look occasionally over my laptop. That way I don't have to open up my, uh, my streaming software and then take away from the game. Yeah, but Dying Light 2 will be uh, happening in the near future, my G. Uh, just I'm playing Dying Light 1 just because uh, I played it before in the past on Xbox. And I wanted to play Dying Light 2 and I was like, I was going to make a walkthrough anyway, so might as well um, you know, play the first game. That way people have context. So I've already played this before, but I'm just going back and trying to perfect it. Ow, get off. 
ratio, you're bad. And, uh... No, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I've already done the main story, and now I'm just doing the following DLC. And I'm just looking forward to uh, meeting new people on the, the uh, journey, as always. I occasionally get certain viewers from certain walkthrough games just to see who's fans and who's not of certain IPs. Okay, uh, go back to meds. Yeah, I really do not have that many med kits. I can't even craft one anymore. This is going to be hard to do this boss fight if it's the way I think it's going to go. And I don't have any med kits. Yeah, it's just another one of these boss zombies. Oh, it's a giant toad one, though. Oh, that's going to be interesting. So it's like the giant boss before, but instead of a riot guy, it's a toad dude. Okay. Interesting. Oh, without any healables, though, how am I going to do this? It's going to basically kill me. Yeah, I play on PC, G. I used to play on Xbox, but I'm playing it on PC. Just saying, Dying Light 2, if you uh, like Dying Light 1, you'll love the second one. Awesome, man. I'm very glad to hear that. That's good. Uh, What does... Uh, what brings you here, friend? And yes, he plays it on PC. I forgot you can throw the axe now by uh, holding right-click. Maybe I can shoot the zombie? Problem is, though, is that, uh... Can I cheese him like this? Oh, I can! Wait! Well, that's cool. Is this a glitch? No, we can just shoot each other through the fence. So I'm just hitting him outside of the arena. Okay. I mean, this might take a while, but... And then, uh... It, well, it says I can craft some stuff, but I don't have any shit to craft. I don't have any med, med kits. I can't craft one. It won't let me. I got the healing recipe. Is that in my inventory? No, it's not. Fuck. No, yeah, but I'm, I'm very glad that uh, Dying Light 2 is good, man. I'm glad that you think it's good, too, because I'm very much looking forward to playing it after I've uh, beaten Dying Light 1 again here. Dying Light is just one of those few games that I have actually have come back to. There's uh, When I do a walkthrough game, I uh, like to mix things up, and if I do uh, end up liking a series enough, uh, or if there's multiple installments, of course, I'll play the entire series. Uh, and Dying Light is one of those games, like I said, I played the first one before, and I was going to play the second one anyway, so I was like, hey, might as well do it as a walkthrough. So the idea is that uh, it's one of the few games I have repeated, just because I like it so much. I played it, like I said, back in Xbox, basically did everything. Uh, I did quit around the following DLC, so this time, now that the game is fully complete, I have gone back and also done everything else, minus a few exceptions. Yeah, this is very cheese, just shooting him through the fence and then backing up around a wall. Now, I have explosive arrows, so... Try to cheese the shit out of them. Yeah, explosive arrows are definitely very fucking cheap. <laughs>
Although that one zombie looks like it's stuck. Ow. Oh, what the? What the? That is just not fair! The zombie literally fucking teleported through the goddamn wall! What the fuck? That's not fair! With the zombie a relative of Jesus Christ? That's a fucking crock of shit. Okay, his health does have a checkpoint though, thank god. So as long as I'm doing this mission, I can constantly just keep cheesing him, it looks like. Now he does shoot despite me shooting him, so he can ignore attacks and then just counter immediately, so I gotta keep that in mind, remember to still dodge over time. Wow, explosive damage, uh, the arrows are fucking cheap. <laughs> See the guns over time. Knowing the uh, the game, it's probably gonna make it more melee combat as more efficient. So why am I even wasting my my guns anyways? When I know that melee is probably better. Let me just use the really powerful axe, I guess. Fuck! 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 You see, that's the one problem is when I get surrounded by zombies. A propane thingy there. Hold on, let me just shoot the propane. Just kill, kill as many of them as I can. I kill, I kill these guys with a shotgun because they're one shots. Okay, melee combat. Here we go. Or I'll just get killed immediately. Oh, fuck. Alright, chat. We can do this. We can do this. Just about timing the attack. This is the problem is with no med kits right now. This makes this a little bit difficult, but I don't want to leave the fight when I already got him weak. Wait, actually, I, I can throw a one-handed item, like they said, remember? So maybe I can be cheap and I can throw the axe? Or am I not able to? Here, we'll see. Should know there's a zombie here. Although the big guy doesn't know I'm here. So if I can get these zombies up here without distracting him. Can I, can I kill them? But throwing knives or something else? Uh, here, I'll just have to kill these guys. Hope the other dude doesn't notice. Yeah, that does a lot of fucking damage.
No, yeah, I am trying to do a pro gamer move. Although I can throw the axe. That's what I thought. The problem is I just don't want to lose it. I don't want him to kill me right after I throw and then I have to pick it up and then like despawn for whatever reason. That's the one thing I'm worried about. I might just have to shoot them. Is there a doorbell? I don't know if I heard a doorbell in real life, or if I heard something very similar in game. There's probably a thing in the game because my dogs were barked by now already. Uh, let me switch over to Ryza's pistol. I'm trying to use the least amount of ammo as I can. No, yeah, Ryza's pistol is destroying this guy. Because of the lack of armor. Yeah, no, the, the other boss zombie was not like this, where I could just destroy him or cheese him this easy. Yeah, the, the, him having no armor makes this a lot easier. So his so the idea behind this boss fight is less armor, more damage. Yeah, he's dead. So never mind, it was the wrong approach. So I should have just shot him, yeah. It's alright, though. Now, is there anything to do? I feel like I should be able to make this into a safe house. I did that with the last time that there was a uh, area of the boss. Or, or am I not able to? This doesn't turn on. Yeah, it's just gone. I think it was just kill him. Yeah, because all these guys are dead. Wait. Something up here. No, it's just an act that isn't going anywhere. Shit, alright. Oh well. Not a big deal. So that means that all that's left, in, unless we find another side quest, is just the main quest where we meet the mother for the very first time. Which, if that's the case, that's one of the last few main story missions in the game. Now there still is other things like races too. So I'm curious. Um, do we want to spend any part of the uh, the rest of the stream trying to see the mother, or do we want to do the races? I think we should rather do races, because it will just only get us more prepared, just in case, for whatever reason, if we want the, the go car going into these next few missions, you know what I mean? That's just at least me. Uh, so we'll do more of the, uh, the races. I, uh, have to find them. Hear that or ball, and that's one of the two. No, yeah, it says there's race challenges. So the race challenges are on the map. Okay, that's good. So, I don't even necessarily think I have to find them. I just think I just ping them on the map. But if that's the case, then great. That's, that's actually really incredible. I'm glad that they, uh, thought that far ahead. So, turn around. Turn the car around. And then drive this way. Yeah. Unless... Wait, this one might be different. No, this is the, this is a different. Yeah, this one's different because the uh, the sign is up here on the bridge. This wasn't here before. Yeah, I'll definitely do the races, Dan. Don't worry. A legendary engine part, level 5, as fast as you can. 1 minute and 15 seconds. Now, that was not where my last record was, so yeah, these are definitely his records. Now, I'm curious. Am I doing... 
them in a random order and some are harder than others? Or is this literally just gonna get progressively harder no matter which ones I pick in a certain order? Like, does the time scale or is the time preset I could do easier ones, hypothetically? Oh fuck, I made a mistake. Tight squeeze. I still almost somehow managed to do this, like just going into this blind, like legitimately. 